Delhi-based DG Propulsion has started construction of its jet engine manufacturing and testing facility. The DRDO is preparing the papers for the CCS approval for further funding of the Gata Q CAF project. India has conveyed its strong objection and protest via diplomatic channels to China, after China set up two counties, parts of which comes under Ladakh. Despite the availability of a newer engine developed by a South Korean firm, the Indian Army has confirmed that it will go with the German MTU 1000 horsepower diesel engine for its second batch of 100 K9 Vajra self-propelled howitzers. The Indian Air Force has initiated the procurement of a limited number of Astra Mark II missiles, marking the beginning of the production process for this 160 km range advanced air-to-air -air missile. Experts have said that features like radar absorbent materials, internal weapons base, and a low radar cross section design of the AMCA can be carried forward into sixth generation adaptation with enhanced stealth with active cloaking systems and advanced multi spectral camouflage. The French Navy's nuclear powered aircraft carrier and its entire carrier strike group will visit Goa and Kochi today and will conduct joint training sessions with Indian Navy and other regional partners and allies. While papers for CCS clearance for further funding of GATAK program is being prepared, latest reports indicate that the 13-ton unmanned combat aerial vehicle will incorporate a digital beam forming system that will enable precise shaping steering and focusing of radar or communication signals electronically, thus providing rapid scanning and higher resolution, as well as the ability to track multiple targets simultaneously at long ranges, including slow-moving or stationary targets which are often difficult to detect. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has announced plans to develop a new 700 horsepower engine specifically tailored for the Zorawa light tank, that will replace the American Cummins 750 horsepower engine, that has been selected for the first batch of 59 light tanks. Scaling up production with a foreign engine poses strategic and logistical challenges as well as dependency, while the other option to downgrade the 1000 horsepower engine to fit into the light tank would necessitate significant modifications to the tank's internal structure, that would increase complexity and compromise other aspects of the tank's design. The chairman and managing director of Bharat Electronics Limited has said that once the 750 km MF Star radar system installed on several Indian Navy frontline warships are integrated with advanced M1 and M2 interceptors of LR SAM project, it will significantly extend the detection envelope for aerial threats, including fighter jets and maritime patrol aircraft and will give the capability to engage them at distances exceeding 250 km. The Indian Air Force has already integrated both the Rampage and ROX air-launched ballistic missiles, and local production of both these missiles is already underway, and the Air Force is increasingly leaning towards using them for its long-range strike missions. Unlike stealth subsonic cruise missiles, the air-launched ballistic missiles can execute radar evasive maneuvers during their descent phase, making them harder to track and intercept, which allows them to penetrate through layered air defenses. Today's top 3 comments.